Hello, I'm George. It's about Engine Farm, if you're not familiar. Just want to do a short video. Lynn would laugh when she hear me say that. I say it all the time. We just talk about grafting, the three reasons we graft, three main reasons we graft. One is a large tree like that. This is just one pear tree. It gives us a diversity and flavor in there. So that way we don't get 300 pounds of one type of fruit for the winter. It also spaces out those or I'm sorry, it also protects against disease resi resistance. Different types of apples or pears will have less or more susceptibility to different types of diseases. And also spreads those harvests out. So if something like this comes along, we've got a freeze coming this weekend. And this one's already bloomed out pretty well in the main, main pear type. I believe it's a kefir. No, it's not. It's a Myers. Uh, but I have a kefir graft onto it over here. So we'll lose some of these of the freeze, depending on how hard it is, not all of them. But on the understory here, marked by this black tape, is this branch. It doesn't have its leaves out yet, let alone its fruit buds. On that same branch, there's leaves over here. So the kefir leaves out at a little warmer temperature and sets its buds a little warmer a little later in the year, whether it's temperature and light combined. I'm not sure. Um, I'll pause and we'll go over and look at this apple tree. That's got five types of apples. The main apple and four grafts onto it. I just noticed one of the grafts is coming awake. So we'll pause here and I'll take a look at that. All right, we're just over at that pear tree. In the bottom of the annual garden. We looked over at this larger apple tree. You can see the buds are just starting to swell on the entire tree, but nothing's nothing has leaves in it yet, except on this branch here, marked by this string. This is one of the early grafts on this tree. This sign was from a friend, Jean Jacques. This apple is a cultivar from the 16th century, so the 1500s from Europe. It amazes me that it's been handed down all that time just because people like that flavor. But here you can see the leaves are popping everywhere on this. I will see the flower shoots next. But the rest of the tree is bare. So again, grafting for that diversity. And flavor. Disease resistance. And ability to miss those frosts. I'm George. This is Fat Ninja Farm. Change can be better than a holiday. Peace.